our police at Lead has really taken off the last couple of years. We now uh, reach out to about 1,200 different uh, youth or juveniles. It's pretty amazing how many people we've been able to touch. It's all through donations. Hi, I'm Bucks County District Attorney Matt Weintraub, and today I'm here with Victoria Velasquez and Officer Bob Schwarting. Victoria is the president of Ben Salem Township's Rotary, and Bob is an officer at the Ben Salem Police Department. The reason that I have both of them here today is because the Ben Salem Rotary is very active in the community in Lower Bucks County, and they've given Officer of the Year, of the Year Award to Officer Schwarting. So first I'd like to talk with Victoria. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for having us. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your position in the Rotary and what Rotary stands for? Okay, my position in the Rotary currently is the president of Rotary in Ben Salem and the motto of the Rotary is service above self. And so us being able to honor members of our community like Officer Schwarting or because he exemplifies exactly what that means within our community, service above self. And he is a man that leads with integrity and is always protecting and serving every day in all that he does, whether it's his typical job duties or outside the scope of his duties with our local police athletic league. And before we get into what Officer Schwarting did to win the award, let's just touch on Rotary for a second. Rotary is completely volunteer and it's for community members and leaders in the community? Yes, it is. So we consist of a panel of members who come and meet weekly and discuss how they're going to impact the community, what types of service we can do, and how we can impact that either through students of the month or organizations or people that may need our assistance. And if somebody wanted to join the Ben Salem Rotary, how would they do so? Um, they could look us up on Facebook under Ben Salem Rotary, or else they could connect with me, Victoria Velasquez, on LinkedIn, and I can lead them to the direct way that they need to contact us. Okay, that's great. You're always looking for good members, I'm sure. All the time that we can. Now let's focus on how Officer Schwarting was selected to win the Officer of the Year Award. What type of criteria did you look at? So uh, several of the members of the Ben Salem Police Department were nominated, and then a panel of the commanders and also the Rotary members. Uh, review all of those candidates and then decide on who the best person for that award that year is. And this year it was Officer Schwarting and he has protected and served in many different ways within our community. I know Officer Schwarting personally and professionally and I, I know that he's made some pretty incredible investigations and arrests. But I would like to focus today on one of the main things that he's done to win this award which is his involvement with the Police Athletic League. Is that right? Yes sir. Um, our police athletic league has really taken off the last couple of years. We now uh, reach out to about 1,200 different uh, youth or juveniles. Um, we include a football program, a special needs program, uh, a basketball program. We did a soccer camp last year. We have a hockey program, um, as well as just activities like taking them to um, football games. We take them to a Phillies game. Uh, it's pretty amazing how many people we've been able to touch. It's all through donations um, from our local community. and. Uh, Usually we have about 50 to 60 cops who also volunteer, which is pretty incredible. And I take it that Rotary is a staunch supporter of your police athletic league. Absolutely. They're a huge help. Uh, not only do they volunteer, they also help us get recognition and put it out there, which is awesome. I think one of the points that I'd like to make here is that, of course, we expect you to protect and serve us, but service isn't always making arrests. Sometimes it's helping, in this case, helping children that need a little bit more help than uh, somebody that may be better well off. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one, I think it's amazing that Ben Salem allows us the time to do that. I don't think every police department allows their officers to do this. Um, and additionally, I think a lot of times in law enforcement, we don't get to have that positive contact with people. Um, and this is great. Uh, every day I see somebody who I've dealt with in PAL who just says hi or reaches out to me. And you don't get to see that every day, which is pretty awesome. And would you say that the program has really expanded in the past year or two? Yeah, absolutely. I'd say the last two years we've seen it almost uh, double in size. And that's not just thanks to me. There's a lot of great people involved, including uh, like Lieutenant Donnelly and Tracy Buchner really spearheaded it, and uh, they've made it what it is today. Well, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the entire community, but certainly people need to know that their law enforcement are out there working behind the scenes every day, not only making arrests, but trying to make the community a better place through prevention and education programs like PAL. Your award was well deserved. Thank you, Officer Schwartz. Thank you, sir. Appreciate uh, it. Thank you, Ms. Velasquez, thank for you. being here. Thank you. Uh,
This has been Bucks County District Attorney Matt Weintrobe, and I've been joined by Ben Salem Officer of the Year Robert Schwarting, along with the Ben Salem Rotary President Victoria Velasquez. Thank you, and be safe.